Hi, welcome back everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. Staying warm out there and had a Merry Christmas. We had a heat wave come through in the Midwest. I'm in Indiana right now and it got up to about 15 degrees. At least that's what they're calling it. A little bit of a heat wave coming through. I'm heading back to the West Coast today, going back to California. But wanted to give you one last video in the cold up here in the attic and talk about XRP and XLM. These are bar none our favorite cryptocurrencies, our favorite banking coins out there. Now, we just saw Egypt now joining the BRICS. We're talking Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, now Egypt joining the de-dollarization campaign. I want you all to understand, I'm not against the dollar. I'm against total control of a financial system that is breaking. And what you will find when you take a look at the new financial system built on cryptocurrencies, built on digital assets that are able to move cross borders and lightning speed at a fraction of the cost, what we have found in our traditional system is you will find innovation like we've never seen. This is going to bring economic prosperity like we've never seen. So when we've got idiots calling us idiots, Jim Cramer, calling us idiots for being into cryptocurrencies that are revolutionizing the world, like what Ripple is doing, like what Stellar is doing. He is the idiot. As he sits there in his leather chair in a developed country in the United States, and look, I'm in the United States, so I'm technically privileged as well. But my point is, as he sits there in a developed country where he has no issues moving money because we have the infrastructure, he calls others idiots. I want Jim Cramer to understand, and trust me, he does understand this, but he lies for JP Morgan and the other sponsors of essentially his humanity, of his life, of his business. He is in with obviously the big banks, but he sits there and lies and says those that are in cryptocurrencies like Solana, he called XRP a scam. They are total idiots. Jim, you know, as well as I know, most of the world has a serious issue with their financial infrastructure. And let me ask you this, Jim. Are you able to pull out your funds from that bank on a Sunday afternoon? Can you go into that bank and pull out your money? I know I can through my digital wallet. I know many of you can that have digital wallets. That's the big difference here. We're open 24 seven. The banks are open generally Monday through Friday, occasionally Saturday. So I don't want to rant too much about Jim Cramer because I feel like he's in the limelight enough, but I think it is comical and hilarious as we continuously see the mass media pushing this narrative that crypto is bad. Everyone in crypto is a bad actor. What do you think they are truly doing? Because trust me, they do know what is happening here. They are scooping up at ultimate bottoms. We could be at the bottom. We could go lower. No one truly knows. But what I personally do is I dollar cost average on big red green days. I take a look at a technical analysis and I take a look at things like XRP, XLM, Algorand, HBAR, a few others that I truly believe is being the infrastructure of the new financial system. And I look at where my future can be with my family based on where these assets are going. So I think many of you out there understand and know that these assets are going to fly. The fireworks are going to fly once everything is truly digitalized. Once the tokenization of everything truly happens, it's not going to be today. It's not going to be tomorrow, but I guarantee you, we will fill you in every step of the way. That's all I got for you for now. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new to the community, and we'll see you in the next video.